are the, are the villages the same are the cities similar what do you find uh, in in terms of yeah uh, the way you you and you've lived in so many different places so yeah i like i actually find more similarities between kenya and australia than i do between kenya and india to be honest um i just think um or maybe i should say mumbai because i don't think i can speak for all of india um but it's between yeah it's so diverse like uh can't believe we're holding it together as a country like it's nuts. um it's like this big you know family uh, with like property issues and this issues and a crazy aunt and a like all along but somehow we're all together for a family portrait at the end of the day um and some biryani so yeah kenya um much closer to australia i feel just in terms of like it's a lot of urban space lots of greenery lots of wildlife um so in terms of the environment and the ecosystem that you're visually exposed to then even people they're very chilled out like and they're very confident so and this we treat everyone as a human being at the same level so even if it's your driver like you come in and eat a meal with you on your dining table you're not like oh sit on the floor and eat some different rice and different food and you know like it's very common in india to have a very stratified society and like who is allowed how much and um, like freedom within the constructs of society like um so like for example my driver would come in and wait on the couch here he stands outside you know like he will not come in i'm like it's really hot and i have the ac going like why would you stand outside but he's like every driver does this so like you know it's just it's one of those things where it's so ingrained here so i think like i don't know i find it very hard to find similarities between kenya and india um and what i really love about kenya actually is uh kenya started um upi payments it was the Ooh. first country with mpesa yeah wow yeah so it started um back when i like in 2003 or 4 um yeah so digital uh payments were like huge in Kenya back then and there's so much data now because we've got like uh longitudinal data right like yeah. from back like 20 years ago of how paid digital payments have morphed and how it's impacted lives and and, and what digital inclusion has meant over mm-hmm. two decades um so yeah i find that really uh, magnificent that you know uh but i also feel that it's easy to be super innovative in places where there is no in there like you can just leap traditional infrastructure like you can just leap over it whereas in places where for example they have traditional in- it infrastructure this sort of idea of digital payments leap frogging would be tough right people would be like oh no the bank has a gateway and you go there and you do it so i think sometimes um in africa there's like these breakthrough and even in india like these breakthrough innovations because there's nothing to innovate incrementally you're just doing like this big jump so yeah, yeah. it's exciting to be in these countries 